it's time to head out and check the Mistral and see what we've got for wind speed. All right, let's see. Okay, standing right here, I'm reading 4.8. That's not a whole lot. Okay. We'll go a little bit further down the dock. 6.3. Of course, that could be me walking at two miles an hour, right? Could be, could be. All right, we're going to check here. 6.3. Still 6.3. Barometers rising. Now I'm showing 3.0. Feels like more than that. I'm going to head further down the dock. And we've got waves breaking, right? Ooh, there's a... Now I'm reading 5.5, five, 5.4, five, five, 5 2. Alright, let's see. 1, 3, 7, 4, 3. Wonder if I have to turn it completely off and start it over again. 30.09. I don't think it's blowing 30. Speed, 6.9. Blowing all that hard. 6.9. Okay. Says so the average is 5.6. No wind chill. Yep. <laughs> all right, we're going to go test the wind indicator again because when I did it, all I got was 6 miles an hour, not even 6 knots. And Bill saw 30 knots. And now some big, really big. Drops are coming down. Okay, what is it here? Right here. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. What is it here? Seven. Yeah, I'm not seeing 20 or 30. Look at the organized waves though. See this? Yeah. So it's been blowing from that direction for a while. And it's about to rain. It's not moving. Okay, going out to test the Kestrel. Bill says he thinks it's 7.2. I don't know what it is. I'd say seven. Yeah, maybe more. All right, let's see what it is right here. 7.3, 6.5. All right, so the goal is gonna be to check and see what is the wind speed? Bill guessed 7.2 and it was reading 7.3. Now I'm seeing, what am I seeing here? Three, four, but I'm behind the trees. So I think as I, as I walk further down the dock, it's a great thing about having a 365 foot dock. <laughs> there is plenty of dock for testing <laughs> the Kestrel. Okay, so right here, I'm getting 5.6, 5.7. I'm right behind, right behind these trees. So they're kind of blocking the wind right here. Let me go further out. All right, so here's what we have out here. We have kind of disorganized waves. It always sounds like more when it's lapping on shore. Don't let that fool you. And we're going to see 7.4. We're in clear, 7.3. Bill's estimation was exactly right on. Now I'm seeing some 
Now let's see what it is at the end of the dock. All right, so as you can tell, it's kind of windy out here. Not terribly, terribly windy, but it's kind of bouncing between six and seven. And I have to say that every time we've estimated what we think the wind speed is, this device has been right on, absolutely right on target. It even has a little thing in there to do barometer stuff. So yeah, the uh, Kestrel 2500, what a great little device. You could scroll through everything pretty easily to get to temperature, barometer, wind chill it even calculates wind chill and it's got a clock for you too so yeah nifty device very smart it's got a lanyard and a little keeper in there so that you don't lose it it's nice and bright so that you can see it and we really didn't feel like we needed the one with the um the ability to do nighttime readings but um we can always shine a flashlight on it so thanks for watching i hope this kind of gave you an intro to the kestrel and inspired you to think about, hmm, do I need one of these cool stuff? Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.